What is up, YouTube? We just came back from a little bit of a reveal stream from Madden on Twitch. We got our headliners, our my team captains, some quarterback rankings, as well as some power information and some field pass information. In this video, I'm going to be covering mainly the headliners program as well as some field pass information. So hopping right into it, we have the low gold headliners players. These cards are going to be what the 74. These are the cards that you do not want to pull in the reroll. The low gold items. Next up, we have the high gold items, which you can be able to get. Probably they didn't throw the solo chain up there on the screen, but I'm guessing we're gonna have some sort of solo challenge where you're gonna be able to get some of these low overall and high overall gold to be able to use for the starter team. By the way, these cards will be available as well as the headliner program at launch for early access. So August 16th, these cards will be in the game. You see Eric Stokes, Trey Lance. Kadarius Tony, some of the notable names for those. Now moving on to the 82 overall elite headliners player, we have some information. So if you pre-order the game before July 22nd, you know, you got that all Madden player. Well, if you kind of pass that deadline, there's a new sort of exclusive offer that you can get if you pre-order before August 18th, which is an 82 overall fantasy pack. And you choose one of, I think it's six total 82 overall elite headliners player. And also if you did pre-order before July 22nd, you will also get this pack. So we're gonna be choosing one of these few 82 overall headliners players milton williams the first one run stopper 77 speed not too bad if you ask me although i don't think he's gonna be able to get inside stuff which that would be the best case scenario for that card john runyon left guard i always love choosing low overall end cap by the way i don't know if it's gonna be an end cap or syllable card for that pre-order pack john runyon you always love choosing low overall elites to kind of be as end cats to fill your offensive lineup because you don't want to spend money on offensive lineup in the beginning of the game michael walker middle linebacker run stopper but the zone coverage being 62 overall blocks at 75. I really have no interest in choosing this card for my period of reward. James Conner, like Michael Walker, no interest really. 79 speed. It seems like he is playing with some sort of injury on this card. Just not fast enough. Decent catching though, I will say. 75 catching, but break tackle not high enough. Speed acceleration just too low. Elijah Moore, this would have been a pretty good card. If not a little bit of a budget beast, I'd say still a pretty good card. Probably one of the better at the 82 overalls, but he's a little bit short at 5'10 or 5'11. 84 speed playmaker Elijah Moore, second year player out of Old Miss. And Caleb Farley, this is by far my choice. And I think a lot of people's choice for that 82 overall pre order pack. 87 speed is amazing. The second fastest card in all of Ultimate Team, I think we're going to have to start the year. Caleb Farley also is 6'2. So you can play on the outside. You can play inside with that speed. A very good card. Moving on to the 86 overalls. What he pay always has great cards in Ultimate Team after his rookie year last year. I don't know the built on ability of some sort of speed. Rush ability. By the way, breaking news. Built on abilities can be taken off the cards. Huge, huge information that we're getting from Madden 23. Gabriel Davis, that is outside apprentice on that card. 85 speed. Wanna say he's 6162. This is a pretty good card for an 86 overall. It kind of, you know, rivals the likes of that Cooper Cup all Madden card. Donald Parham. This probably is the best 86 overall at 6'8 with built on deep out of lead at 85 speed. I mean, think of, you remember Kyle Pitts' rookie premiere from last year was the best time in the game for probably the first month, maybe first two months. That's what Donald Parham is going to be for Madden 23. And then Divine Diablo, 86 overall run stopper. Unfortunately, I don't love this card just because he is more of a coverage linebacker with great speed, 86 speed. But again, linebackers don't jump. So why would I use this card when I can maybe use a safety? Although safeties don't play the run that well this year on, on a recent beta update. I still don't think Divine Diablo is going to be used over the likes of a safety like Cam Chancellor, for example. Carson Wentz, the last 86 overall. Red zone Deadeye, unfortunately, is not the best built on ability. 79 speed, just kind of generic stats across the board. For Carson Wentz, Joe Mixon, the first champion, 89 overall. By the way, you can choose whichever team cam you want. So for Carson Wentz, you can choose Colts, Eagles, Washington football team or commanders now without needing the power. Because first off, these cards do not have power ups. I'll talk about power ups at the end of this video. Joe Mixon, back to this match, 86 speed. I think he is going to be better than Barry Sanders just off of his weight alone. And the best card of this drop from my Kansas City Chiefs, Legereus Snead. Not only does he have 88 speed, which is the fastest card so far we've seen from Madden 23, he has pick artists, maybe the best built on ability he could have had other than Acrobat, but I prefer pick artists over Acrobat. So I am in love with this card. I am going to do whatever it takes to have this card on my team. Moving on into the little, I would say, extracurricular information we got from the stream built on abilities like i said earlier can be taken off chemistries can be changed without a power up this year and special ability buckets for those headliner cards headliners replacing superstars 86 overalls normally an 86 overall would have a tier one ability bucket and just a tier two ability bucket now 
for this year, they are going to be having, well, not all 86 overalls, the headliner specifically, a tier one ability bucket, a tier two ability bucket. That will be the built on you can take off, of course. And they will have a third, a double tier two ability bucket. And then for the 89 overalls, they're going to have a tier one ability bucket, a tier two ability bucket, which is going to be that built on ability, I'm pretty sure. And then there's going to be a tier three ability bucket where normally a player would have to be 90 overall to hit that tier three ability bucket. But since these cards are a little bit special, headliners, they're going to get that tier three ability bucket. But I don't know for sure. They didn't really, RG didn't talk about it. I don't know if like, for example, pick artist is going to be that tier three ability for the Jerry Sneak. I think it's the tier two, but I'm not quite sure on that. It's going to be either the tier two or the tier three, but extra ability buckets for those headliners cards. And now popping in to sign up some additional information, field pass. Now, I'm going to talk about field pass a little bit after this, but pretty much Think of the Headliners Field Pass as kind of MLB The Show Program XP Path, where each program is going to get their own Field Pass XP Reward Path. And well, these are the rewards for the Headliners one that will be available at launch. You can see Coins and Seasonal Pass XP, which we'll talk about. A 74 plus overall Headliners player, which by the way, I think confirms that there is going to be a reroll at launch. They did not announce it, but they didn't, launch. they didn't show us the sets, they didn't show us the solos, they didn't show us the packs. I don't think they have it ready. 74 overall headliners player, I think is going to be the eventual reroll. You can also see Bound, by the way, is the new end cat. So you're going to be able to get an 86 overall at random. That's going to be an end cat. An 86 overall fantasy pack that is going to be end cat. And then an 86 overall hero fantasy pack, which will be sellable. So some decent rewards. Think of them basically as like kind of the new XP system for programs. Now, in terms of field pass altogether, we didn't get a whole lot of information, but this is what I've taken from the XP or the field pass XP system this year. So I'm going to pause my video because I got to take a deep breath for this one to explain it. Hopefully, clear and concisely so field pass is basically taking over objectives and it's taking over the level system now there's three branches of field pass the first one being seasonal field pass this is basically just going to be levels and it's going to be refreshed once every few months i have to expect it's going to give us of course rewards i might probably gonna be team it's basically seasonal field pass is going to be the levels you can see when you get xp through the program field pass by the way which is going to be the second branch of the field pass which is going to be taking over the objective section of ultimate team so for every program we get when we get ultimate kickoff campus hero there will be a new program field pass for that promo of course this one being headliners and then the last branch of the field pass which i am most excited for because it's basically the only new thing added into the whole level xp system is head-to-head -head field pass now it updates every two weeks and there are going to be player i think they said five player rewards for every head-to-head -head field pass so probably like get 50 wins every two weeks get 5,000 passing yards and you'll be able to get some really really cool I've been asking for this forever this is kind of like I'd say the seasonal thing in MLB where you have like the where you get the highest overall skill rating get players but it's going to update every two weeks so it's going to be really really fresh and refreshing content going to make me have to play head to head after the first month of the game the only downside to this is there's not going to be a mutt master match 23 but rather they're going to be very good rewards in that head that field pass and that seasonal field pass to kind of counteract the loss of Mutt Master. But that is going to be all for this video. There are team captains got revealed. However, I'm gonna make a video choosing which card I'm gonna choose. I already know which card team captain I'm gonna be using the rest of the year. That video kind of talking and breaking down the stats of those team captains as well as which card I'm going to choose. It's gonna be in a video that's dropping tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Power preparation, powers are kind of back, they're kind of not back. Investing, they look to be back. However, uh, maybe there's not as much investing, but Good thing to note is there's not power ups in the beginning of the game for core elites and for these headliners cards so it's gonna be a lot cheaper to get these cards on your team but that is all for this video hopefully i uh, i basically broke it down to a very easy way to understand it because it is very confusing we got a lot of like foggy information on the stream on like field pass power ups all that sort of thing but that's all for this video video tomorrow team captains which one to choose and until then peace